I'm, I'm very uh, proud and moved to be here honoring the great achievements of the great Francis Ford Coppola. When you experience a Coppola production, you're not only entertained, you've changed, you're changed. He has given us a string of hits unprecedented in their complexity and impact. Who can forget his 2007 director's cut Cabernet Sauvignon? its dense richness lightened by hints of cherry, mint, and tobacco. <laughs> or the crowning achievement of the 1991 Rubicon Estate Proprietary Blend. Ultra-rich and concentrated with impeccable balance, deep and complex with layers of cedar, currant, anise, blackberry, sage, and mineral, very plush at points, yet firmly tannic and structured. <laughs> Robert Parker gave it a 90, finding fault. <laughs> finding fault with the aggressive tannin, which he said caused some astringency in the finish. <laughs> Parker's a dick. <laughs> For me, this wine is easily a 92, maybe 92 and a half. But being honored with the Irving G. Thalberg Award for Achievement in Winemaking and Luxury Resorts didn't happen overnight. <laughs> Francis came to it the old-fashioned way, hard work and making movies, <laughs> like me. Now, that's how our paths first crossed. Fra uh, Francis cast me in Godfather Part Two. He told me I was the star and that there would be a few flashbacks. I mean, there'd be a few flash-forwards to Al Pacino, who would play one, one of my sons. It was my uh, first Oscar, which, due to some confusion on the part of the Academy, was for supporting actor. <laughs> anyway, I'm very grateful to Francis <laughs> for that opportunity, and even more grateful for the experience of being directed by one of the giants in the wine business. But, but seriously, Francis, thank you for the career-making break you gave me in The Godfather too, and thank you for your talent, honor, and friendship. You're an inspiration and one of my biggest influences. You can see it in my acting, my directing, my producing, and perhaps most of all, in my De Niro 2010 Estate Bottle Pinot Cab <laughs> Shiraz Blend. Anyway, I want to just say, Francis, I thank you for everything because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I love you.